just want to take a look at some of the um, transitions down here. So there are a bunch of new transitions and the ones I really really like and I've been using quite a lot are the cross blur and the cross zoom. The cross zoom ones are, I think quite nice for if you've got a, a clip which is in motion. Um, so let's uh, just have a quick look and see. Oops. I've zoomed between two bits which I really like that, that transition and again you can modify the lengths of these transitions. Um, so say that I'd like it to be a longer or shorter one. The cross blur one's really nice as well, and there's a whole bunch of, of, of additional ones. But one thing you don't may not realise is that some of the transitions don't become uh, available to you unless you've set a theme for the project. Now, I can see the use for some of these themes, like your photo album would be good for travel videos or videos of, of your children or something. So far I haven't really found any use for theming my whole project. So, but what you can do, by, the def by default if you select um, a theme, then it will automatically have add transitions and titles selected. So that will add, apply the theme to the whole thing. So if I click on, I want to make my project a film strip, it's going to start putting on titles for me, which I don't particularly want. So if I just undo that, what I can do is set theme and say film strip. Don't automatically add transitions and titles. And what that does is that's going to make these other transitions available to me. So I can now drag in the film strip type transitions. Slightly frustrating that you have to apply a theme in order to get hold of those additional transitions because sometimes I think they'd be nice to, to add separately um, or to mix and match the different transitions. I'm hoping that Apple will include some more themes in the future or maybe, uh, maybe increase the, uh, the number of themes available. Also, you can fine-tune the, the actual um, film strip transition so you can choose where you want the, uh, the start and end points which I think is, quite, is pretty cool as well, very cool. Um, so these are kind of advanced transitions if you like. I'm just going to delete that one because I don't particularly want it there at the moment. And I'm just going to go back to having no theme. I usually start with no theme. Um, so far I haven't really found a use for the themes for the, the pieces of video I've been editing. I'm just going to delete the audio on this as well because it's just uh, creating lots of background noise. So we've also got some new transitions which uh, and uh, titles rather which they showed in the, the keynote at Macworld. Um, I kind of like the drifting one, that's, that's quite, quite cool. So you can also apply the, um, the titles just a part of, so you don't have to apply to the whole clip. If you drag it and drop it over the whole clip, then it will apply it to the whole clip, but you can just drag it to a part of the clip that you want to actually apply it to the beginning or the end. And this is where the precision editor comes in, because let's say we want to apply this towards the end of here. What we can now do is we can actually go into the precision editor and that's actually going to let us go and adjust exactly where um, the two clips um, divide. And where the transitions happen, things like that. Just going to do that title. Okay, so what else? Well, one of the other really, really cool things you can do with this is you can insert clips into other clips. So I've got this clip here, and then let's just skip right ahead just so that it proves the difference in the in what we're actually importing. And let's just select a couple of seconds. And if I drag this clip from the bottom up over part of um, the top clip, then it's going to let me, it's going to give me some new options. So I can either replace it completely, I can insert it do a cutaway or do picture in picture. There's also audio only if I just want to overlay the audio. But the ones I'm finding really useful are insert, cutaway and picture in picture. So let me show you the cutaway and picture in picture. So if I say cutaway, it's going to drop it in uh, above the other clip. 
Now again, I can actually then detach the audio from that clip, and that's going to appear right down the bottom underneath. I'm going to delete the audio from that clip because I don't really want to have that noise. And if I play this, it's going to cut to the other clip. Now, I, maybe I want that cut to be slightly smoother. So if I now go into uh, clip adjustments, I can actually change this so I can have a cutaway fade. And maybe I'd like to just do this opaquely over the top of the other clip so you can still see the other one through it. I think it's really a nice effect as well that you can do. So this is now going to fade through to the other one more smoothly, which I think is really neat. So that's a cutaway. The other thing you can do is you can actually do a picture-in-picture, picture, which is another really, really nice additional effect. So what we've now done is by dragging that clip, we've actually now got this uh, inserted as an additional frame inside the other one. We can resize it how it's going to appear. And what we can also do is we can adjust how this is going to show up. So we've got a picture-in-picture -picture effect, so we can say we either want it to dissolve in or we want it maybe to zoom in. Zoom in is really nice for, um, for example, if you're doing a, um, a demo with, with a computer screen, for example. So I use that in one of my, my most recent um, videos on YouTube. You can add a border around it to highlight it. You can add a drop shadow if you want. Um, and we can choose how quickly we want it to zoom in. So let's just have a preview and see how that's going to look. So as we're driving along. When I heard it said it's Let's just reduce the length of that clip so we can again adjust the length of the clip that we've just inserted. One of the neat things you can do with that is you can actually drop still frames in. So let's just pick a random still frame and drop that in as a picture in picture onto this particular one. So that's just going to insert a photo as a clip. Now, if I was to move this just by dragging it over to the corner, and let's say this was a logo or something for your video podcast, so what you can actually do is overlay your, your logo. So um, I did a Doggy Nation behind the scenes video and overlaid the logo into the corner of the screen. What you could then also do is maybe combine that with um, a title. So let's put a title in the, um, in the bottom. for is for basically overlaying um, some information about something onto the screen which I think is really nice um, so it doesn't have to be an actual moving picture but it can be a moving picture which is really cool